Gotta scream a little bit, man. Oh, look, I'm gonna just keep up. Oh, before anything. What's up, what's up, what's up? It's Lee and I am back with another video, man. Now, I'm just keeping it stacked with you, dog. Like, tried to record this video a good four times. Like, no cap. Tried to record this video, like, yesterday. Man, no. I think the day before that. And I was, like, in this parking lot trying to get it all. I had no haircut. Like, my body was all, bro. Like, couldn't even get right. But now, you know what I'm saying? I got my haircut. <laughs> Feeling quite daddy ish. If you may ask me, got my face shaved, got my beard done, like, you know, <sighs> I'm showered. <laughs> I don't know what to really title this video or what to even really call it, but I just feel like I'm keeping going in the dark about a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? They say no sad video. I ain't looking, bro. For, before we even start this video, I'm not looking for y'all to feel pity for me or, or to feel sorry for me. Like, I'm not here for none of that. I'm just here to keep it 100 just because, like, y'all my family, and I feel like I be keeping a lot of stuff like away from y'all just because i feel like you know what i'm saying y'all won't deal with it. i'm i'm just i'm a prideful person i'm like this way not just y'all just with like my girl from my mom my dad I'm like, I'm like this way everybody i'm a very inside person and i deal with a lot of struggles on the inside and i'm i have trouble speaking out and, and saying when i need help and half the time i really don't even be needing like help i would say you know what i'm saying i just be, Need an outlet, and I, I struggle with just speaking about myself. Save the pity comments, like you know, what I mean, support is always good. Like, you know, what I'm saying we rocking, but don't, you know, don't, don't make me feel like charity, bro. Like, that's not even the type of time I'm on for real. Like, I mean, I was at a point in time, but like, nah. And another thing, I can feel the haters already coming on, like the the, the dudes that think they so much better than me when you never even reached. <laughs> a thousand subscribers bro and I, i'm bro i'm not the type of person to feel like i'm above anybody but let's look at it this way i can't advise floyd mayweather or warren buffett or jay-z on their financial problems because i've never been there i've never had a hundred million somebody i've never even had a mill to my name you dig what i'm saying we're not in this in the same tax bracket we're not on the same level i see like a lot of comments with these little guys these these little guys they be like oh leak you're washed up blah 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 oh i mean i just like i read those comments and i laugh because it's like i look on their like, channels you got three Minecraft videos from when you was eight years old that got three total videos. Like, your video been up for seven years and you got three total views. Like, that's sad. But like, that's not my business, though. Like, you know, I can feel it coming. Like, hate don't really bother me. I've been in, been in this since I was 12. Let me stop beating around the bush, man. So basically, like, you know, I, I get like a lot of comments on my videos saying like, holy, oh, you should feel this type of way. Like your channel, uh, like YouTube's really playing with your channel. This, that, and the third. Like your channel has really, you know, um, I wouldn't say taking a turn for the worst, but it's taking a turn. It's taking a turn, you know what I'm saying? And, like, at first, I used to hate myself, bro. Let me just tell y'all, like, the timeline of events, bro. So, like, this time last year, I think, like, around April, YouTube had, like, the little ad apocalypse thing that was, like, oh, basically tell all YouTubers, like, you ain't gonna be getting $6 for CPM. You probably gonna be getting, like, close to a dollar, close to two. I was, like, you know, like, money really never, like, bother me. You dig know what I'm saying? Because I'm a hustler. I'm gonna get a bag regardless. I got businesses. I flip stocks, I got stocks, I got, like, I'm never pressured by no cash. Like, my pops rate, like, he, I'm, I'm for it tough, you know what I'm saying? I'm straight, you dig? So, um, I was like, all right, that's cool. I mean, he's gonna suck a little bit. Like, you know, checks that was, like, 5,500, 3,500, like, turned into, like, 15, you know, like, bro, but, like, I was straight, though. Like, my bills was paid, like, I was cool, comfortable, still saving money, like, I wasn't tripping. I always had other businesses. I was like, all right, we still rocking. I'm, like, rocking 30,000 views of video, 50,000 views of video, consistently, like, consistent bangers, numbers-wise, you dig what I'm saying? It'd be regular videos or, like, little vlogs. But, um, YouTube started messing with, like, the algorithm on my channel, and I think that's what really started, like, affecting me mentally you know what I'm saying like the money thing is and, and that's what's funny about it bro because like i remember when the whole apocalypse thing was going on like youtube was really out here pressing oh uh, i'm not gonna get paid no more blah, 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 blah. like they was really out here like about to quit youtube because the check wasn't coming and that's never been my motive because i started youtube when i was like 11 12 years old not even know that i can make a check off this so like who am i to to determine my 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 you know me leaving this platform because of money like that's just selfish because i built a fan base on here and y'all love me like this is like an escape for a lot of my viewers. I get so many, you know, uh, emails, DMs, and oh, Lee, like my mom just died. Like your videos helped me. I watched some of your old videos. They helped me get through the time. Or I tried to kill myself last week. Like who am I? You know what I'm saying? Like it's just not the way I be. That's not the type of time I'm on. So, um, 
yeah, like I said, they started messing with the algorithm on my channel, and I think that's when my views started like going from twenty thousand. No, it went from like thirty thousand views a video to so, like seventeen thousand. Seventeen thousand still really didn't bother me, bro. As long as people was feeling inspired by my content and it was, I was helping somebody with their day, like I was straight, bro. That's just the topic. Like I'm telling you, that's just really what I care about. My fans see my video, like I'm cool. Wait, like I said, seventeen thousand turned to like eight, and the eight turned to like whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then it turned to like a whole. Like YouTube will only promote the videos that will benefit them. This is how, this is how I know you. I've seen YouTube go through so many stages, bro. YouTube used to be like a platform where it was just like, yo, dude, like create what you like. You know what I'm saying? Like this is your platform. This is like your outlet. Do what you love. You know, we got all these companies behind you. We gonna sign you. We gonna support you. Blah blah blah. That's a business, cutthroat business. This is like Wall Street, dog. Like, this is what like a lot of y'all don't see behind the scenes, like with the MCNs, the management, the corporate. Like, bro, this is deeper than like <laughs> the ten minute video you seeing, or you know, the five minute video, or like the little prank you saw. Like, it's deeper. Like, bro, it used to used to just be that ten minute video, or that five minute video, but like it's now it's deeper, and like, yeah, like they started messing with a lot of stuff, bro, and. You know, uh, y'all see it, and it affects my mood, bro. It affects my mood. That's why sometimes I used to upload every day, but like now, um, it's a little bit harder mentally to upload just because, like, I know YouTube, they be like dogging me. You know what I'm saying? I email them and I get in contact. I'm very, I have a very good relationship with YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout out John, shout out everybody over there, bro. Like, they really, you know, take care of me or whatever, but like, when it comes to the internals on my channel, like, they kind of oblivious to it. Like, they act like I'm stupid or something. Like, they be like, oh, uh, oh, maybe your views drop because your your subscribers just are putting on notifications. Like, bro, that's not it. Like, people tell me every day, G. Like, every day. They come up to me in person. They, they, bro, Malik, I'm not getting your, uh, your, your, your videos in my sub. I was like, I don't even see when I scroll. I was in the Burberry store, like, a couple months ago. Dude was like, Oh yeah, bro. I used to love watching videos with you and your girl, but you quit. It's like, bro, I never quit. I'll be uploading like every week. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like people, bro. People come up to me every day. Like the love is so deep in my city. Um, it's just everywhere. Not even like it's just in my city, but it's just like on Instagram everywhere. Like people just they ask where I've been, how you doing? Oh, how's life after YouTube? I'm like, oh, what are you talking about life after YouTube? Like, I never went nowhere. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and that like sucks, bro. That like messes with me mentally. Like a lot of y'all think. Like, you you watch this video, be like, you know what I'm saying, bro, just like suck it up, like, grind harder. Or, or, or make a new channel. Like, hey, bro, I'm so tired of y'all saying make a new, like, I hear y'all, son. I'm so tired of y'all saying make a new channel, bro. It's not that easy. I'm not, and this is no disrespect to, like, no YouTube, no new YouTubers, but I'm not a dude that's just been in this for, like, a couple years. Like, I didn't start this stuff in, like, 2016 to where I only have, like, 70 videos on my channel and me making a whole different channel. Like, bro, I got, like, 800 videos on this channel. Like, I grew up on this channel, like literally, you can see like the faces of my life. Me when I had Crohn's disease, me when I was going through high school, my wrestling face, like everything, bro. And like I, I'm, I'm emotionally attached to this channel. That's why it's like not easy for me, as it is for other YouTubers to like create new channels like every damn month. Like I can't do that, bro. Like I'm not about. I don't know, bro. It's like <sighs> I know it's gonna get better. Like this is all written, dog. Like this is why I'm not tripping. Like I talked to my. My management, my 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 network, bro. They doing everything in their power. They know, like, we we figured it out now. That's why I'm not I'm not pressed. I'm so content. And like, like at first I was stressing, like I said, because like people wasn't seeing my videos and it like like it, it devoted it it demotivated me. You know, I felt invisible. You know, because I was like I felt like I was putting out the best content. Like I was like putting so much edits into my stuff, and still kind of am. Like and I just wasn't getting seen, bro. And it like messed with me, dude. Like. And, and a lot, like I said, a lot of y'all be saying, oh, just grind harder, blah, 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 promote more. And yeah, you're right. But YouTube is like 10% physical and 90% mental. Like me coming out, like me making this video, I had to film it like four or five times just to get it right. Just because like, if your word, if, you, if your mood is off, your words don't come out right. Your jokes don't come out if it's funny. Oh, 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 you can't write. Oh. Like, everything is, like, it's mental, bro. Like, y'all think it's so, like, it's not. Like, I mean, yes, you know, I had to sit down, whatever, whatever. But, like, people that call this, like, YouTube thing easy, bro. And that's why I don't respect people who say, like, oh, YouTube's like a job now. Like, I hate when people, like, <laughs> make this seem like a simple, like, get-rich-quick scheme. Because they don't know, the like, the actual dynamic. Like, bro, you telling me you can do this every day? Or every other day, you can sit down, come up with a good idea, not some lack of day, like, no, not some lazy idea. Oh, I'm going to film me eating cereal as I talk for, like, no, like a real good idea. 
You know what I'm saying? Come up with the idea, write the script if you need a script. You know what I'm saying? Film that video, put good edits, and I'm talking good edits. Y'all be getting tired of seeing like, bro, I'm not like, I'm not trying to roast nobody, son, but I be getting tired of the little edits. People just be throwing up this little, this, this little content. Like you tell when people in it for the money, you can tell when people really care about their content. You know what I'm saying? You telling me, like I said, come up with an idea, film the video, come up with an idea, write the script, film the video, uh, edit the video, upload the video, promote the video, repeat. Are you telling me to do that every day? You know what I'm saying? This is not easy, bro. Like, and that's why I don't respect when people just be like on my ass, like, you know, unless you've been, like I said, like I said at the beginning of the video, unless you've been in my shoes, but you don't understand. You know, I'm not saying I'm better. Cause obviously I'm not, I don't see myself as better. Like I've never been raised that way, but it's just like, this is, this has been a battle dog. Like, you know, and, and you know, I just got a lot of problems with it. I got a problem with people like comparing me. Like I don't even compare myself no more. Like, <laughs> I, but I'm telling you like this past year has been like such an eye opener and like God just been talking to me, bro. Like I'm so content. Like I'm not even impressed, bro. This is how I know, like, my like my blessing is coming. Like, this is all, that's why I said, all this is set in stone, bro. This is supposed to happen. This little weak spot in my channel or whatever, like, it's supposed to happen. Like, I used to feel, you guys, my girlfriend, my mom, I used to feel, I used to be depressed. I would even, and I don't like throwing, like, the word depression around like that just because I know people who really go through depression and I know what depression feels like. But I was really in a hole, bro. Like, I couldn't, I just couldn't function, bro. It was weird, like, you know, and, um, I've been through that, bro. I let it go. Like, my pride. Like, I've been through so much, bro. And just, like, you know, seeing the comments here and there. Like, little trolls. Like, it don't bother me. Like, I'm, I'm I'm for it tough, bro. Like, y'all don't even understand. Like, comments don't really even get to me like that. Just because. At the end of the day, like, the people who be commenting the most hate, bro. Like, they either want what you have or want what you had. You got to think about it like that, bro. Like, they, they want this shit to happen. Like, they wanted me to fail. They want People want me to fail so bad. Like, they kind of. I'm not saying I failed. But they kind of wanted me to, like, I guess lose track. They got it, whatever. But we about to be back on their ass, though. Like, I'm not tripping, like, at all. Like, me and my girlfriend, we would talk here and there. Me and my mom would talk here and there about, you know, my whole career and whatever. Because everybody know this is what I want to do. Like, YouTube has created every opportunity for me. You know what I'm saying? And we talk about it. You know, I just keep it, like, blunt. I keep it vague when it comes to me. Because I'm the type of person, I have troubles. I have a real pride, bro. A lot of people say they have pride, but like, bro, I'm on a different level, bro. Like, I got real problems with like opening up. I have serious, but like, I don't do it, bro. Like, you know how how like I'm I'm like trying to open a can of corn with some scissors, bro. Like it's gonna take some time, G. So, um, yeah, man. Like I'm just now telling like my girlfriend how I really feel about this whole YouTube thing like the other week, bro. And this has been going on mentally for like a year. You know, that's like, like I bottle so much up inside. I bottle so much anger, so much self-hatred. Uh, oh, I used to. Like I said, I'm not like this no more, but I'm just telling y'all like the things I've been going through like for the past like eight months, bro. I need to tell like, bro. And it sucks sometimes, bro, because like you don't know what it feels like to like lose the battle within yourself and then feel like you can't talk or not even feel like you can't talk to nobody, but feel like you can't even Build up the strength to be like, hey, like, can I talk to you for a second? Like, not even asking for help, just like, yo, can you like listen to me? Like, that that's like something different, bro. So, I mean, I just felt like y'all need to see this, bro, because I I really tried to maintain like this perfect YouTuber image, and I just like not everybody perfect, bro. Like, everybody go through stuff at some point in their life, whether it's a YouTube crisis, a financial situation, your mom passed, your boyfriend passed, or. Or, or or anything, bro. Everybody goes through something. Everybody going like you cannot do this life alone. And that's what I thought I could do for the longest, bro. And I'm just not figuring out. At 19 years old, like, bro, like everything I can't do it because I've been doing. I've been DIY leak for so long, bro. I, I'm self built. Like nobody can ever say that like help me. Like, I'm self built to the max, bro. I mean, let me take that back because people have helped me. Lord forgive me. Uh, obviously God. You know what I'm saying? But like my homeboy. Meals like you know my girlfriend, my my mom's my like my mom's paid for my first uh YouTube convention ever like bro paid me and paid in full like she paid for me to go there she got my first like bro like my aunt got my first camera my mom got me my my other camera like bro my parents everybody like helped me I'm not saying that I'm just saying like the work ethic that's what I'm saying work ethic has been self made you know what I'm saying so um like it's been a ride bro it's been a ride but like, i'm just not finally getting grips i'm finally getting that confidence back i know what i need to do 
um, YouTube, they still like, they don't get it, but like my network, they doing everything. Shout out to Broadband, bro. Cause like they doing everything to like, now they are at first, you know, every like I said, nobody really understood what my channel was going through at a point in time. That's why everybody just kind of like stood back and like it was like, all right, we just gonna watch. It's gonna happen, and everything happened. But like, I'm still here, bro. People recognize me every day. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just, I'm just, I'm just so grateful for like all the supporters out there that still believe in the kid. Like, bro, y'all don't know what it means to me as a person who felt like, you know, I, I was, I was silent. I was silenced. On this platform, on the platform, I, I, I really love, bro. Like, I love y'all. I can really say that. I'm not one of these people out here, one of these YouTubers out here that, like, fake love they supporters and y'all, y'all, y'all keep it from a distance. Like, nah, bro. Like, I, bro, I, they got so many supporters out here that, like, I can really call friends now. Like, shout out Eli, bro. These people that really got my phone hit me on the line. Like, what's up? Like, you know, I really rock with y'all. Like, y'all really made me. Like, I, I started YouTube with no friends, bro. And, and, and this... Help me find myself. You dig what I'm saying? And it helped me open up. So, YouTube always have a special place in my heart. Like, no matter where I go in life, YouTube is like the icebreaker within myself. Like, this, this helped me find myself. You dig what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, man, I just, it's, I'm opening up to y'all. It's a little weird. Like I said, I'm not really, I'm not the type of guy to put my problems on everybody. Because who am I? Somebody out there that's going to do something worse than me right now. That's why I never put my problems on people a lot. Because I feel like the little first world problems I be going through, like, bro, there's kids out here who they have a meal today. You know what I'm saying? That's like, I always keep it in the back of my mind. Do anything I go through, like, bro, there's kids who didn't eat today. Like, People out here that just got evicted from their crib, like you, you, you argue. I mean, you, you over here sad about, you know, like I just, you know, I just try to keep that in my head. Not, I'm not saying that like my my problems aren't valid or or they don't matter, but I try to stay grounded the best I can, and I, I encourage y'all to do the same. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this is weird, bro. Like, you know, y'all never seen this side of me because like I said I don't, I don't really open up on here. But I mean, I hope y'all, you know kind of feel me or whatever but like i said don't feel sorry for me bro because like i'm just now content with myself like, i wanted y'all to feel sorry for me like last year and that's why i never uploaded the videos saying how i truly felt about it like yeah i tell y'all like yeah youtube trying to hit my channel but i would never like open up and tell y'all how like the stuff i was going through behind the camera like, when this camera turns off when it's two o'clock in the morning and i'm crying like i'm bro like y'all don't you know what i'm saying like uh <laughs> Yeah, bro, I just, man, like, look, I rocks with y'all, bro. And I'm just, I can sit on here and ramble all day. This is going on 18 minutes now. Uh, hey, look, if you still breathing, you still got it. God didn't wake you up today by mistake. You know what I'm saying? So keep going, bro. Whatever you're going through, everybody go through something. So I'm going to see y'all next time. Until next time, deuces.